<laughs> Why is this a thing? Oh my goodness. This is horrible. I'm What's up, lords and ladies? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to some really bad reptile ads on the internet. Now, I'm going to be browsing through Kijiji. Um, you know, as many of you guys know, I actually got scammed on Kijiji and this is sort of where this whole entire video idea kind of came across because I'm scrolling through Kijiji and I just see some really bad ads from time to time. Now, I would say about 95% of the time, you know, everything is good there. People are, you know, amazing and the customers and also, uh, you know, being able to sell for the most part, it's pretty good. But you do run across some people that are just like, oh my God, like why? And it goes for both ways, customers and sellers. So today, I guess I'm gonna be judging some ads that I come across. Now this isn't meant to bash anyone, but if you're gonna be putting something public up especially for sale it better be legit and it better be good right like why are you gonna put something up that that's basically like not good especially when it's a living creature now i normally don't make these types of videos i always try to spread the positivity but at the same time hopefully through these videos um you know people do stop posting bad ads and actually take you know maybe a second to think before they actually post things up because at the end of the day we're all trying to you know improve this reptile community and maybe this is a way that we could police it by making fun of them <laughs> but at the same time you know if it's really bad of course it's always best if you educate them if you try to reach out and help them so you know don't go out there just you know spreading hate but at the same time you, you someone needs to speak up like th these ads are, are getting more ridiculous as we speak sometimes. So with that being said, let's just get started with this video. Let's go. This is, oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. You can buy a baby female ball python for $200. Now that's a deal. That's a deal. All right, let's see what this is all about, okay? like. I'm not gonna judge, right? $200 is a pretty good price. All right. Oh my God. So the description says full setup plus a baby female ball python. Five months old plus full setup, $200. Now, I work with ball pythons. That seems like a reasonable deal for someone who's trying to get into maybe getting a nice pet. $200 plus a setup. All right, let's see what the setup looks like. What is this? Like, oh. <laughs> so, to some, this might not look so bad. At least it's clean. I'll give you that, right? It's clean. But personally, when it comes to keeping ball pythons, you know, when you're gonna keep them in a tank, there's a right way to do it, and then there's a wrong way to do it. This person has the heat mat stuck to the side of the enclosure. Like, how is the ball python, like, is the ball python supposed to be heating up the thing like this? <laughs> like, what is going on here? Like, the ball python is literally gonna have to, like, somehow climb on the side of the glass just to heat up. <sighs> I tell you, some people, man, like, there's care videos out there. There's there's educational videos out there explaining, hey, like, if you can't get a heat mat, you can put it underneath the enclosure, you know that, right? <laughs> but no, this person's like, no, I wanna be different. I wanna be different. I wanna put it on the side of the enclosure. And what's up with the heat lamp being so high up? Like, is this a heat lamp or is it just a display light? Because at the end of the day, like, why is it like that? And where's your lid? Okay, at least <laughs> I was gonna say, like, why is there no lid in the enclosure? Oh man. Okay, so the next <laughs> the next ad is interesting, okay? It reads two ball pythons and tanks and accessories. So you basically get two ball pythons with a tank for $200. It sounds like a pretty good deal. Two ball pythons and a tank for $200. Not bad, right? So let's now read the description. Selling two friendly ball pythons, two a lovely and experienced owner. I, I'm a, like, I, I'm a lovely experienced owner. Oh my God, they're like, they're really good, you know. Like, I, I might actually purchase this. 
moving and could not take them with us. We adopted them from their previous owner about two years ago. So two years ago, you had these, you adopted them. Hopefully, you know, they were in good care when you did bring them in, right? But we're not sure how old they are. So that's completely fine. You know, sometimes it's tricky to figure things out. Selling each snake with their own tank, handmade lid, large water bowl, plastic hide. They eat medium sized frozen rats, 200 each and the tank and accessories or $350 for both. So you get one ball python and the tank, right? But they're handmade. They're 100% handmade. That's what, that's what the ad says. Now let's just see what this beautiful man, like I'm actually considering purchasing this. Like this is a pretty good deal if you ask me. I'm leaving. I'm done with this video. I am so done with this video. <laughs> what the hell is this? Is this a bird cage? Like why? What is this? Like who, who told you? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Oh my goodness. This is horrible. I'm I'm sorry, but this is horrible. This is probably like the worst enclosure I've probably seen. And if, if, if I hope, oh man, I really hope the animals are okay because per, personally, I would not keep any of my reptiles. And I wouldn't even keep my crickets in here, let alone a ball python. Like that's how bad it is. Like I wouldn't even keep a bird, man. Like it's not hard to purchase. Like if you really need an enclosure, there's people out there who give them out for free. Like, Hey, even I would give an enclosure for free, but like, this is just way too much. Cause at the end of the day, you know, these ball pythons, they're creatures that could really thrive anywhere. They're hardy animals. Right, so I'm not surprised that they're they look fine, they look healthy, but at the end of the day, like where is the heating element? If there's under tank, underbelly heating, it looks like all of the heat just escapes. Oh man! And if you're watching this video, hopefully, hopefully, you change your ways. I still believe that there's so many things that we're trying to do in this community by helping and educating. I personally don't want to be making these videos. But I feel like maybe if we do make these types of videos, people will, you know, take, you know, a second to maybe double think before they post. Because I've seen some horrible ads on Kijiji on the internet. And I'm like, why are you guys even posting things like this? Like, some of you should even be owning reptiles. Man. <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got a kick out of it. I am going to be reaching out to everyone who um, did you know, make it on this video. Hey, like, <laughs> but I am going to reach out to everyone who was on this video to maybe, you know, help and maybe reach out and, and, and at least educate and at least be like, Hey, like I personally wouldn't do it like that. I personally would do it differently because at the end of the day, I think that's a better approach. But at the same time, I think making this video is definitely needed to put these, to put certain, you know, things on highlight and be like, Hey, if you're keeping reptiles like this, do not do it. Especially do not try later on, try to sell it because someone's gonna take this, probably purchase it, and the animal is not gonna be able to make it. So at the end of the day, hopefully you guys do learn a thing or two. Um, I am gonna continue making other videos. So with that being said, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that post notification bell button. I'm Lord of Lion, keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in go. my next What's video. Uh, Peace. Yeah. Okay. Baby, don't cry, just subscribe. Baby, don't cry, just subscribe. You better not cry, just hit subscribe, hit subscribe. You gotta hit.